Well, the deadline is drawing near for Marylanders to sign up for health insurance. Prince George's Health Connect is holding an event this weekend to help people get enrolled. And it's called Last Chance. And here to talk more about this program is manager Sherry Curtis. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. So now we've got the deadline coming up. So tell me about this weekend's event. Well, we um, are calling it Last Chance. Mm -hmm. Open enrollment is November 1st through December 15th. That came about quickly. It did. And it's a, just a short window mm -hmm. for people to get ready for their 2020 coverage. Okay. And so the Last Chance events are happening all over the state. And in Prince George's County, it's at Bright Seat Road, 425 Bright Seat Road in mm -hmm. Landover. And we're starting at 10 o'clock. And we want everyone who is uninsured or needs to renew their insurance to come in and see us at that event. So now we know that people wait the last minute for lots of stuff. It's the holiday season. People are trying to get stuff done. So why is it important to show up and sign up? The sooner the better mm -hmm. because of the capacity to be able to serve everyone. And we want to make sure we give everyone the quality services that we should be giving them. Uh, Prince George's County Health Connect is a program of the Department of Social Services. And we work really hard to get everyone in Prince George's County insured. Okay. We still have several people that are not insured, and we want them all to come in and see us. Now, since this is going to be the last minute, folks, this is the deadline, we're up against it, what should people bring with them when they show up? Well, your eligibility is usually determined by your family size and your income. Okay. So we like people to bring a um, valid ID, uh, pay stubs if they have proof of income. Um, if they don't have proof of income, we have a way to get them to sign affidavits. They need to also bring, um, if they are not, if they are a resident, but they're not a citizen, they need to bring all of their immigration papers and the things that would make them lawfully present. And that's pretty much it. And then we take it from there. So it doesn't sound like the process is completely overwhelming, right? It can be confusing for some people because a lot of it is online. Okay. And we provide assistance to help people do their applications online because everything is digital now and all driven in that way. We also have a mobile app where people oh, okay. can actually do it on their phone or on their so it's usually the people that need a little bit of assistance and some guidance going through the process that come in to see us. So what are some of the obstacles? What are the things that trip people up that you see that are commonalities? Most of the time, it's just the um, lack of confidence. Mm. You know, I think that some people don't understand how simple it can really be. But a lot of people have complicated households. And so for somebody to help them navigate through that process, because they may have children that are eligible for one thing, they may have an older person in the household that's eligible for something else. We can help them sort of navigate through that entire process. Okay, and so last, if you can tell me, uh, you've held these events before, what are you expecting this weekend in terms of turnout? We're hoping a lot of people come. We are, and because we're doing it the weekend before the end of open enrollment, mm -hmm. we're pushing people to come see us now, and if they have any challenges or need to bring in additional documents, they'll still have another week in order to do it. Um, we're open across the county. Mm -hmm. We're available from now, we'll be available seven days a week in one of the locations. So if people go to our website and look for opportunities of where they can enroll, that would really be helpful. But this particular event is gonna be happening all over the state for this week. And we just want people in Prince George's County to get covered. We want them to get seen by a doctor and we want them to work on getting healthy. All right. Well, good information. And uh, thank you for joining us. That's thank some you good so much. facts you've given us. All right. And again, that event is this Saturday from 10 in the morning until 2 at the Department of Social Services at 425 Bright Street Road in Landover.